Hello, just wanted to put a quick two minute video up about um, Iris, the, the new web browser that's under development for Risk OS. I've got it on Christmas Day, so I've had it like uh, a couple of weeks. It seems to be pretty usable actually, I'm quite happy with it. You have to pay at the moment like a £50 sort of contribution towards the development, and I thought, well, what the hell, I'll give it a go. You have to download it from Pling Store. So if I open that. Okay, so I've just opened Pling Store, look in the catalogue. O browser slash iris beta so that's what i'm using i paid 50 pounds for it they give you a link to o browser which is the product but they have i haven't even bothered downloading that i'm just trying out iris at the moment so you buy it in pling store you go into your software but like when you download it you don't actually download the, the proper project you just get a link to risk os developments like a private page which is password protected and you can download it from there and they have several different versions i wasn't entirely sure where i should be putting it i've just started this booting from a solid state disk so i did have it set up on my sd card so that it I was using this utility called Iris RAM. And what that does is it copies Iris's executables onto a RAM disk. That's just to make sure that when you actually start running it, it's a bit quicker to load, because obviously there's a lot of binaries to try and load up. But um, finding it kind of runs okay off of my solid state disk. I'm not worried about it now. So what I've done is I've, um, I've got the folder of the, the other items that were downloaded. You have to update your boot um, directory and system and stuff. I've kept it in there. I've just chucked it in my apps folder. So that means that, um, when you actually boot the machine up, it actually becomes visible in apps. So if I load it up, this is loading off of a solid state disk. So it's a little bit faster than the SD card, but it's probably a bit slower than if you actually run it from a RAM disk. But what you do get if you run it, um, actually I might not, I might fix that issue actually. So sometimes you get a warning message pop up about, I think it was like alignment exceptions or something like that and to get around that. I've turned the CPU mode onto ARM 7 fast mode, so alignment exceptions are off. Apparently there's a, an issue with the WebKit um, pre-compiled code that they can't get around, so they have to have that error quashed. So I've turned that off and now I'm not getting it. So if you actually open Iris, so it didn't take too long to load it, and then you get it to, to render a front page. We can open a normal page like um, BBC News page. Oh, yeah, bug off. <laughs> and typically, it doesn't want to load the main picture. So that's the first time I've ever seen an issue with this, of course, because I'm recording it. But if we compare that page to loading, say, NetSurf, which is the older web browser, BBC News. So you can see Net NetSurf isn't capable of rendering the page at all. But, um, Iris actually does a pretty good job of it. And it's even easy, uh, able to kind of resize the page. So maybe I'll do that. Maybe I'll leave NetSurf open. So, that's, okay, that's rendered it eventually. So actually, that, that is pretty much spot on web page there. Um, we could try some other stuff. We could go on to, um, we could go to Risk OS Open's page. So that should run, that should render in, um, NetSurf as well. So that, I mean, look how that was pretty quick to load there. You can go on the forum. I mean, it's not insignificant in its speed, really. Let's have a look at, I don't know, uh, general or something like that. I mean, it's quite responsive. I can move the mouse up and down and it's, it scrolls the screen really quickly. It's actually pretty decent. It's actually usable. So if I was to look at Risk OS Open on this, find that because obviously this page is kind of optimized to work on that stuff so it looks I mean it does actually look nice uh, it's rendered better on here but the aliasing of the fonts and stuff just seem a bit nicer it's just a little bit crisper I think I think the anti-aliasing on this has made it a bit look a bit blurry but this thing's a bit crisper and it's, it's actually kind of pretty responsive let's try and render a page that this that NetSurf wouldn't be able to do let's have a look at Amazon's page so if I type this in here so you can see that's that's rendered pretty well, I think. Try and render the same page on uh, on NetSurf. Hasn't got hope in hell, unfortunately. Obviously, it's not not a JavaScript enabled web browser. I mean, say, yeah, this is actually this is pretty spot on, and it's still it's reasonably responsive as well, considering it's effectively software rendering all the pages. I'd say this is pretty decent. 
Another web page that we could try, I think Risk OS is GitLab. So if we actually look at some of the source code, let's try that one. Right, so this isn't even, is it, can't even get close to it. I'll tell you what, let's try and find a source file when we look at the code for that. Um, let's pick anything in general, I don't know. Oh, there was one I was looking at a minute ago, hardware support. Um, I think it was SD. SD CMOS. This is, I was looking at this um, assembly file because I'm thinking about trying to be able to save the CMOS file on uh, CMOS data onto my solid state disk. Um, let's put that S. So that's the source code. Right, so this should render the actual source code. Notice how it's like an active page as well. So it's actually downloading the source code from a from a database. So if we were to go to, uh, if we were to copy that, can I actually paste that in? Let's see how that page renders. Not a chance. Can't render the page at all. And for a last little check, we could try, obviously YouTube doesn't work because there's no sort of embedded video in there. So I've had to do www.youtube.com. It's not able to load that page, it kind of makes sense. It's interesting actually, you can't run embedded videos on YouTube, but also the, the fact that it's not even trying to load anything I think it's a bit interesting. None of the controls are working. It's not even attempting to preview some of the videos. I thought that was interesting. I even think Iris is a bit faster. I think it renders the page quicker in um, NetSurf because they're simpler pages. I'm sure it fetches the pages quicker. So YouTube doesn't render, which is fair enough. But yeah, so this is actually, this source code seems to render okay. It's very, again, it's very responsive. It's pretty good. Let's try some of the, let's try an actual uh, interesting website. Facebook. Well, it's not complain because obviously I've not got an account logged in. I'm pretty sure I did. Oh, there we go. It did actually remember me. So yeah, there we go. I've got, obviously got them. So it has got me logged in. And it's a bit slow, but it is able to render some pages. I think it did get there eventually. So can I view a new notification? To be fair, Facebook's pages are really bloated anyway. It's getting there, it's loaded a terrible advert. So it's, it's slow, but it does load. Obviously video isn't gonna work. Um, that's quite a nice dialect somebody's built there. Okay, I think Facebook might have killed it. So let's try closing that and open a new instance. Oh, no, it's crashed. Yeah, I think face Facebook's done it in, unfortunately. Let's try it again. It is still a beta application, so you can kind of let that slide. So give some time to load the page. There we go. Right, let's try Twitter. I haven't actually tried looking at this. Uh, let's tell the cookies to bugger off. Not bad. We could look at some trending item. Let's look at, I don't know. I've no idea who Sammy is. Let's click on that. So the more active pages like this are a bit slower to download because they're having to fetch a lot of stuff. Is it going to actually try and play a video? I don't think it would work because I don't think there's an embedded video player on this. No, try to, but it's not quite working. But so okay, but it can it can render all the sort of um uh, doesn't help this is all video based. <laughs> Let's try surely there's some tweets that are about text. Graham Norton, what the hell's going on with Graham Norton? Yeah, it's not it's not the not the fastest on the page like this, but I mean it's still actually rendering the pages okay though. It's not able to render the videos, which is fair enough. 
But the trouble with Twitter is that nowadays Twitter's trying to automatically play them, so maybe we can change the settings somehow. But it seems to be, it, I'm, I'm actually pretty impressed with this. Um, considering how much work it must have taken to get this up and running, I think this is pretty decent. I mean, I wouldn't want to, I've been using this computer for like um best part of a couple of days now, and um, I haven't really, the pages I've been going on, which have been all sort of technical pages, I haven't really had any issue with them at all. Okay, let's close that. Let's try and load. Uh, obviously got something like the icon bar, which, oh, we could go to BBC Sport, could see what the snooker's doing. See how that renders. Wait, uh, right. I don't watch football, but I do watch snooker. Yeah, there we are. Is it going to work? Sneaker. It's all right, okay. It's kind of, you would notice it has kind of gone a bit sluggish. Now we've loaded that Twitter page. I do wonder if it's kind of cached. Yeah, there we go. Error receiving data of some... Okay, so there's still some sort of issue with um, caching or something like that or data because it seems like... Um, it seems like if you load any sort of really heavy active page like that, it does struggle. But, um, let's try this again with fresh, fresh open of the application. It was quite responsive to start with. There we go, that wasn't, that wasn't too bad. Bit more. I mean, it's not going to set the world alight, but it's pretty damn, I mean, I'm, I'm Considering the effort it must have taken to get this, I'm pretty impressed. Error sending data, broken pipe. Okay. Oh, I wonder if my computer's been weird. Let's try restart and see if that makes any difference. Okay, I've just rebooted the computer. Loaded the virus again. Let's try this again. BBC Sport. Certificates activation time is still in the future. Hang on, yeah, okay, uh, my computer's being weird. Let's set the time. There we go, set. All right, okay. Are we gonna get there? Yeah, it's a little bit buggy still. I mean, this is pretty good though. This is responsive. I think as long as you don't try too many complicated pages and you don't screw so many things up like I just did there, you should be all right. So that seems to render okay. Let's open another tab. Let's go for eBay. No, giving up again. Not having it. It's almost like yeah, something's happened to it and now it's stopped working. Let's see what I mean, because we had the BBC News page working a minute ago, didn't we? I bet this doesn't render now. Well, that's a BBC home page. I should have done a BBC News page. We had this rendering a minute ago. Well, that's okay. And that was pretty quick. It's going to take a moment to download all the pictures, but no, that was all right. And there we go. And it's rendered in that. Okay. So yeah, I mean, it's a bit, it's a bit fickle, but I still think it's really some real progress there. You could definitely use this for viewing a lot of stuff. I mean, um, yeah, so certainly if anything you might want to do on Risk OS is going to be easy to open anyway. It's definitely a massive step up from where it was. I think they've done a really good job. Obviously there's a lot of work to do. I'm not necessarily sure about, like I wouldn't want to use it for doing like banking or anything sort of financial because I know RiskOS isn't that secure an operating system. So you wouldn't want to risk your um, hard earned cash on that. But for general day to day usage, actually, as long as you're not watching video and you're not going on too complicated pages, probably all right to want to read the news or something like that. I think it's probably okay. So I think I'm actually quite impressed. So. Good job there and i suspect by the time it gets to the actual proper full on release to the public as opposed to like a developer's release of a preview release that i'm using at the moment then i think it'll be um pretty damn usable i would say it's probably as responsive as any web browser you're going to get on a raspberry pi anyway so yeah pretty good good job there anyway that's just my thoughts for us for five minutes thanks for watching i'm gonna get out of there <laughs>